So what we're going to do right now is walk through the process of cleaning out one of the print cores. In order for that to happen, you really need to start with cold print cores indicated by these blue lights because sometimes you'll get an error message that it actually can't get hot enough. These cores can't get hot enough and it's because they already started at a very high temperature. But either way, just make sure that you start the whole process of cleaning out the print cores with cold print cores. The other thing that I'd want to point out real quick is we noticed this about a month ago that we were getting bad print jobs and it had nothing to do with clogged print cores, which we thought it was. It was because there was a tiny piece of filament stuck in the fan and it wasn't getting full rotations. It was just spinning just a little bit. Um, so that's a really important thing to check out. So what we're going to walk through right now is the process of cleaning the print cores. I highly recommend that you use the special print core cleaner uh, filament. Right now, I don't have any, so we're just gonna use some of this other filament to clean these print cores out. So let's start down on the screen, and we're gonna go down to System, Maintenance, Print Core Cleaning. Just wants to make sure that you carefully read the instructions in the manual and we want to clean print core one right now now it's going to ask us the important part what kind of filament are you using we're using pla we're not using the cleaning filament for this one so at this point you'll notice that the light is this amber color it's starting to heat up print core number one it's already getting hot to the touch once that's hot enough we'll get a message on the screen that says that it's hot enough and we can begin this print core cleaning process. While that's heating up, I can remove the Bowdoin's tube and you can see that there's these tiny little clips that we could pull out, set those to the side. In order to release the Bowdoin's tube, we have to push this down, push that nozzle down and pull out the tube itself. It was warm enough where I was actually able to take out the entire filament, which wasn't my intention, but now that we have the tube out and this out, we're good to go. And once this says that it's warm enough, that it's hot, then we can go ahead and put the filament in there. At this point, to remove the Bowden tube from the print head, we did that already so we can confirm. We're gonna do what's called a hot pull. So on the screen it says, follow the instructions for the hot pull, and we're gonna confirm that in a second. But what I'm gonna do is take some of my PLA Put it down through here and I'm just gonna gently push and we can see that some of the old filament is coming out of here and now we see the new filament is coming through and once we get a lot of that filament through we know that we've done a good job of cleaning that filament out. I'm gonna confirm on the screen and look to see what that looks like and that's looking pretty clean. There's not really any uh, carbon deposits on that or anything like that. So what I have to do now is the cold pull. I'm gonna clip some of this off and I'm gonna put the filament back in. I'm gonna let some filament run out and I'm gonna hit confirm now, now that I have some filament running out. What I want you to do is continue to put pressure on the filament, not too much, but enough pressure while this is actually cooling down. And the purpose of that is whatever filament that I continue to push on this and apply pressure, whatever filament is in here, once it cools down, I'm then gonna pull it up firmly to get any excess uh, filament out of the print core. So I could feel in my hands right now that this filament is starting to resist me a little bit, meaning that the print core is cooling down. It's not as easy to melt the plastic anymore. And you'll notice the important part is that on the screen, it's telling me to continue to maintain the pressure on that. So I need to keep basically extruding this plastic out of this until this screen tells me that it's safe to not put pressure on any longer. So it looks like it's almost there. I'm still applying pressure. It's not as easy to get the filament through right now. And it says now we can release the pressure while this continues to cool down. 
And that's what we'll do right now. We're gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna finish off the cold pull. So it says right now that we went through a long time of waiting, probably about four minutes or five minutes, using qu uh, pliers quickly and firmly pull the filament out. So now I'm gonna go up here, take my pliers, and this is so that anything that this plastic PLA melted to, it would have grabbed any carbonation and all that. And this definitely takes a firm pull to get this up and out. And we look at this, and there's absolutely no carbonation, there's no deposits on this, so this is a nice, clean pull that we have. So we go down to the screen. We confirm that we've done that. Is it clean? Yes. If it's not clean, hit no, and you just do the process all over again. Reinsert the Bowden tube in the print head. So now I'm gonna take some of this filament. It's actually better to not even have any filament in here at all when you're gonna do this, but we would do the same thing just for the purposes of the video. What they're asking us to do is take a Bowden tube with nothing in it, put this in, we push down the clamp as hard as we can. Take the clip that prevents that from sliding out and that could either go in the back like I just did or we could put it through the front and then we're all set.